Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Call me Yosef Ella. Call Halloyim la Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rechach Hakadosh. The honors to our apostles and elders of Ray Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Nakwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Lanawa. Just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, this is in the New York Post. It says, girl, or this is a young woman. I wouldn't say girl. You know, she's 13. But, you know, generally, that's, hey, that's the age of young women, so to speak. Shot dead in shopping mall. Fight while just a bystander in the wrong place at the wrong time. So it's a few things we can get out of just this title in itself. Because no one is in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know. And let me... um. Just grab a couple of scriptures on that real quick. Let's get Proverbs. We'll get off into some of the article to see what happened. Y'all wrote this uh, Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Oh man, Proverbs 30. So like you have one. Chapter 20. Verse 24. Man's goings of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right? So our steps are order of Yahweh by Shem Shai. No one is just, you know, somewhere that they want to be without the Lord sanctioning it. It doesn't work that way. The Lord is in control of every step throughout your day that you make. You're exactly where you are supposed to be, you know, at every millisecond of the day. Now let's get this one in Job chapter 33 and verse 15. It says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. See, you get your instructions while you're, you're while you're while you're asleep, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. See, so to withdraw man's purpose, the Lord he he, he sets everything up. Every single person that, that has passed away today or that was born today, every baby that came into the earth, you know, every um, bird that, you know, was killed or, you know, whatever, roadkill, any animal that was running across the street and a car hit it, you know, all that is is, is on you. How about Shimei was shy? And, and um, I think that's Matthew. Not sure exactly what chapter that is, but uh, what is it, 10? That's ah, like you. Where it talks about not a not even a sparrow falls to the ground without the Lord sanctioning it. So lucky, I'm not sure exactly where that one's at. Uh, it might not even be in this chapter. Oh yeah, it is Matthew ten and twenty nine. Are not two farthings sold for Salakia? Are not two sparrows sold for farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. So, you know, the smallest ant can't can't die without the, the Lord sanctioning it, man. So let's get off into some of the article. And she's a nice looking young lady, but she's out of here. And the Lord is no respecter of persons. That's another thing. That's why it's so important to um, repent to the father. You know what I'm saying? When you hear this truth, you don't know, man. That might be your very last time hearing it. Some people get to hear it a few times, you know, a seed is sown with them. Next time they hear it is water, you know, and then sometimes they just, you know, the Lord to get the increase and bring a person on into this truth. But sometimes people, you know, they just they walk by and they're hearing the gospel for the first time. And and really, in reality, it's not meant for them to get it if they don't get it. You know, and it's just judgment that goes out on them. But it says 13 year old girl was in the wrong place at the wrong time, which we proved that that's not true. When she was fatally shot as she walked past a fight that broke out. In a shopping mall food court in Washington State, the young victim has been identified as Jada Woods Johnson. Okay. The suspect, a 16-year-old boy from Edmonds, Washington, is believed to have fired a single round following a fight with another group of teenagers in um, Ardenwood Mall food court. So you in the damn food court at a mall with a gun. I didn't even know people still went to the mall. Hell, they selling all the malls here. Matter of fact, they tearing all the damn malls down here where I'm at. Nobody go to the mall no more. And here you go. Two damn Jake. What appears to be Jake anyway. Two little nigglets. 
Johnson, who was walking by the quarrel with a friend, was struck by a stray bullet. She was rushed to the hospital, but later died. Well, hopefully she wasn't walking and trying to be damn nosy. But still, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. She, she got the business. She's out of here. She's back in the spirit world. The scene involved four or five teenage boys who approached two other boys, resulting in a physical fight and eventually shooting, according to the to police. And these are the e these effeminate ass dudes, man, that's raised by these single black mamas. You know, because when we was growing up, you knuckled it up. If they were so goddamn brave, they knuckle up. You know, there's places you can go. Hell, you can go to a local gym, put on some boxing gloves and let out your frustrations on each other. What about that? Here you go in a mall, a crowded area, letting off damn guns. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this shows you where we're at. You know, that Matthew uh, 24 and 12 talks about um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's why you have to be careful out here. You, you should most definitely pray. Be circumspect. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then, yet see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So you're supposed to be walking circumspectly. You know, it wasn't no probably no other reason for her to even be at that mall other than to look cute. You know, showing a new outfit, showing how I look. You know, I mean, it's a little, it's vain things that go on out here. I'm not saying that she couldn't have been there or shouldn't have been there. You know, type of deal, but. You know, it's a lot of pride, a lot of selfies, a lot of, you know, people kind of got that, 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 that lovers of them own self spirit. And that's going off into that second Timothy that, um, I think it's second Timothy three and one starting from the top. Yup. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemies blasphemers disobedient to parents you already know them little niggas is different disobedient to parents unthankful unholy you know she could have been disobedient to her parents you know she probably will you know because you know a lot of the times uh, uh you know the young people they'll say hey well i'm going here mom or dad but they somewhere else just never know that's me speaking as a man it says unthankful unholy Without natural affection. That's one of the points that I wanted to get. Them niggas ain't, them nigglets ain't had no, nat, no natural affection. And most of these little nigglets don't. You have to be careful being around Jake these days, man. That's why, you know, we say, hey, go do what you have to do. Scripture says um, to get up B time or early. Handle your business. Do what you have to do. Go ahead and go home. Because these days are evil. It's not worth it being out in the streets, man. It's not worth it going to unnecessary places, really. You know? I get it, you know, you 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 know you want to get out and about and go and have a good time or catch a breather. But man, sometimes it's not even worth it. But a lot of people don't pray. That's that's another thing too. You have to pray to the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shah for protection throughout your day. Cuz anything can happen, man. There's people that be sitting up in their living rooms when a goddamn car roll through there. Roll over their asses while they on the couch eating some damn Cheetos watching Netflix. That happens on it. That happens. You think a person would, you know, expect for somebody to a car or a truck to just come burling through their fucking home? Nah, that happens. It's just like I just done a lesson. Um, it was a um, New York police department or a lady. She was a um, New York police. She was a cop and she was at the salon on her day off getting her nails done to go to a wedding. And some drunk driver th drove through the goddamn salon and killed her. She wasn't expecting that. You see, but anyway, it says without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. These little nigglets is fierce, man. Despising, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady. Cause you one of one I'm gonna turn on the other one. It wasn't me. It was him. I told him he shouldn't. I didn't even know he had a gun. You know they're gonna turn on him. Traitors, heady, high-minded. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. You're supposed to turn away. You ain't even supposed to be niggas like this. You ain't even supposed to be around. Anyway, let's see some more. 
Look at them. You all on camera. They know who your dumb ass is. Police in Linwood, about 17 miles near Seattle, said the boy's mother turned him in. Okay. He will be booked into jail for murder. The gun has not yet been recovered. The mail was put on, the mall was put on lockdown for a short period following the fatal shooting. And you know, they was back to business. But his mama turned him in. And you know what? His mama raised that nigga more than likely. When no daddy around. You don't hear no dad in, in, in these situations or no granddad or no uncle. And if any of them are around, they, they simps too. They, they just as fucking wicked. Be seeing some of these dudes, man, the uncles. You know, you're supposed to be somebody that's supposed to be raising the little man's to be right if he don't have a father at the house. But the uncles uh, take them in and, and, and teach them how to do all kinds of wicked shit. Granddaddy, he wicked as hell. That's if they get to meeting them. You know what I'm saying? Generally, they meeting the... You know, um, um, you know, a bunch of aunties and, and girl cousins on their mama's side, and they grew up to be effeminate as hell, man. But anyway, you can clearly see she's out of here. She's out of here. That's that's a, that's a rap right there. You know, cute. But that cuteness got her where? Nowhere. The Lord wasn't like you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh you know, <laughs> you're cute. I'm gonna spare you. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him re return unto Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. See, it says make no, it, it says um, there's another one in the Apocrypha too that talks about making no tarrying. To turn to the Lord. Stat, I think I want to say, let me just lock you. God. Um, it's the book of Sirach and um, the 1611 King James Bible. Download that app if you don't have it. A 1611 King James Bible with the Apocrypha in it. So you'll have all the books. But it's also known as the book of Sirach. Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarry in the turn to the Lord. And put not all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. See? Make no tarrying in the turn to the Lord. There's plenty of people that walk by the camps on a day-to-day -day basis and scoff. And we don't even be knowing if whether or not they, they continue to live on. Any of them can easily be them walk by the camp, scoff, and jump into the car, and, and, and something happened to them the next day, the next week, the next month, the next year. You just never know. We don't know. But it says, make no tarry in the turn to the Lord. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? That's why we do this work, too, to get the um, the blood off of our hands. Because the Lord said, hey, if we don't warn the flock, if we don't blow that trumpet, if we don't warn that danger is near, and something were to happen to um, um, one of the flock or one of these people, and we had an opportunity to say something, then that blood will be on our hands, man. And we don't want no blood on our hands like that, man. You know, praying that they... We're on point at all times, man. Because like I said, this you think this young lady got up, went to the mall, and was expecting for somebody at the mall in the food court to pull out a handgun and just shoot one time. All it took was one shot. That was it. She's out of there. That's it. And also, um, you know, I grab a few more of the classic precepts. Well, let's go into, um, first off, let's get Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So we know that this is the Lord. He was the one that, that put all that together. Killed two birds with one stone. Got this, got this wicked nigga off the street. He might go to a prison somewhere and, 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 and get his head whooped on real good to the point where he may not make it. You never know, man. But he's out of there. Because a, a, cause a, a, a young man like that, and he's with his mom because they ain't saying nothing about no dad. But a young man like that, particularly at those particular ages, they have no respect for their mom or dad. And they talk a lot of shit. And and you got, um, let's get this, uh, one of the ten, ten Commandments right here. Exodus chapter 20. And, that's, and, and that even goes for this young lady. She could have been disobedient 
or um, disrespectful to her parents and got that business, man. Just never know. Also, like I wanted to get um, verse 12. Exodus 20 and 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. See? Her days were shortened like a mug. 13 years old? She was probably just coming into her monthly, having her little period, you know what I'm saying? Was probably filling herself. You know that's around that age, give or take. Out of here. Gone. Back to the spirit world. Funeral set. You know, it's going to be some candles lit, balloons let go, that type of stuff. But the Lord is no respecter of persons, man. Um, 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He wound, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord is the one that kills and makes alive. Satan not just out here doing what he wants to do. You know, you got the Christian church talking about Satan, Satan this, Satan that, Satan out here working. Yeah, he working all right because he's an employee for the Lord. But he's not capable of um, doing what he wants to do. He, these angels don't have free will like the Christian church are, um, be trying to say they do. As a matter of fact, we can get, let's get um, back in the Apocrypha. Ecclesiasticus, that same book, 39 and 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So see, the Lord created spirits for vengeance. In the time of destruction, they pour off their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord created spirits to, 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 to get down, man, to appease his wrath. It says, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, Punishing the wicked to destruction, right? Now check out what these spirits, these it says these spirits, it said they rejoice. They shall rejoice, they shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So you have spirits that are that are happy to 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 to, to delete little cuties like this right here. They got that, they got that order. They they wasn't like Lord, well, look how pretty she is. Lord, she hasn't even had children yet. She's going to grow up and get married and this, 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 and this. You see? And a lot of the times, you know, when 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 the young ladies, they be cute like this, you know, they, they have that, that, that pride. And that pride, you know what I'm saying? The scripture talks about um, pride coming be, um, before destruction or a haughty look. Um, what is that, uh, Salakia? And I'm not saying that she was. I'm just saying, in general, a lot of young ladies, they are. You know, they get in the, in the mirror. They're constantly taking pictures. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You know, and all that bullshit. And, 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 it, and it gets them in trouble, man. Yep. Um, Proverbs 16 and 18. I'm down to 5%. We'll, we'll get it done. It's lock you. Pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. See? Because like I said, a lot of these young ladies out here, they, they, they're they very haughty. They have a very haughty spirit when they look like this. See, like, look at this picture. It looked like she got a baby in her arm. Or maybe I'm tripping. It looked like a baby in her arm. Hell, could have been her baby or maybe not her baby. That kind of, maybe I'm tripping. Am I tripping? It looked like a baby. She holding something. But anyway... You know, I just wanted to just, you know, go off into this real quick. Hey, make no tarrying to come to the Lord. Yahweh about Shimei was shot, man. The Lord is not playing no games. You know, those spirits of vengeance, the Lord created are real. And they're out here getting down on a day-to-day -day basis. And I always say that a lot of these, um, a lot of the most heinous crimes are going down with women these days. Matter of fact, let me come out of here because I was looking at another um story just before I, I seen this one. And I'm like, well, hey, that's a spirit. Let me just go ahead and chop something up. But... Here you go with this lady right here. See if it loads a lock here. Come on, baby. I've got to do it my battery.
These are things that are happening on a day to day basis. A lot of um, um, women and children are being judged these days. It never used to be that way. That's how you know we're in the end days, man. Um, I wanted to get, let me get one more, two more. Uh, no, not um, Salakia. Uh, yeah, Isaiah 45 and 7. Got to have a healthy fear of you. How about Shimon Shah? Repent. Pray for mercy on a day to day basis. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So when these Christians get to telling you about how the Lord loves everything, you better tell them, nope, I heard this guy. He brought out some scriptures that said he don't. The scriptures is real, man. Let's get another one to prove that as well. That with that God is good all the time crap, man. The Lord is out here judging people on a day-to-day -day basis. Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? See? So the Lord got these spirits of vengeance out here, man, uh, 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 on attack mode, and they ready to go. The scripture says that they ready to go. It says they shall be ready upon earth when need is. They ready. They just sit, you know, and and and, and, uh, and, and I'd be surprised if they're um if they ever have any downtime. They probably constantly on the move because the world is so wicked, man. It's a lot of judgment that goes out. Watch the news. I mean, I'm talking about just one major city, and you got you can watch news all day of just heinous crimes. Just think about all the city. From every city in America, it's, it's, it, all 50 states, it's, it's, it's cities throughout all those states and shit going on that you will never even hear of. And, and again, and, and I was saying to that camp today earlier, hey, this, this, this weekend, this little holiday weekend, this little Independence Day, you know, People, people are going to be getting deleted over this weekend, man. Why they out, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, you know, with barbecue sauce on their shirt. <laughs> you know, mixed in with, with blood. And then going to catch it while he got a rib in his hand. So it's getting grimy out here, man. So, you know, it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. So let me end out there. New Testament, Romans 13 and 11. I got about three or four percent here. We should be able to get it. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. See? She didn't know that she was going to get up and run into what she ran into. But. You don't know what the Lord is going to do. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the next three, four, five, six seconds, man. Only the Lord knows that. Verse 12, it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So you need to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Put off all the, the, the bullshit and come into this truth and come into these scriptures and, 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 and really just repent, man. Turn from your wicked ass ways. Because I'm willing to bet you that that young lady, she probably thought she had the rest of her life to do whatever. She got all these plans. It's summertime. School is out. She was probably there, probably picking out some little cute things to wear to school and shit for the new season. And they're going to be talking about her when they get to school. They probably have a, a counseling session when, when the children get back to school because she was so beloved. But the Lord has no respect to her persons, man. So I'm going to end out there, man. I'm going to end out there. I pray that this lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashallah.